The Computer Pioneer Award was established in 1981 to recognize those individuals whose vision has resulted in the evolution of the computer industry. A silver medal is presented to exceptional individuals who have contributed significantly to the development of the computing field. During the 1970s, when he was a graduate student, Stephen Ferber was an electronic hobbyist, someone who could use a handful of chips to create a device as simple as a guitar wah-wah pedal or as complicated as a desktop computer. This skill and his understanding of mathematics got him a position in the R&D department of Acorn Computers. At Acorn, he was the principal designer of the BBC microcomputer, one of the early microcomputers, and the ARM 32-bit RISC microprocessor. The BBC microcomputer, designed with colleague Sophie Wilson, became part of a national TV program that placed over a million BBC micros in more than 80% of UK schools. At Acorn, Dr. Ferber became interested in asynchronous processes, which promised to outperform conventional processes and use substantially less power. He demonstrated the value of such chips in three systems. His work paved the way for ARM microprocessors to be the most common chip used in energy-sensitive products, such as cell phones and tablet computers. The number of ARM processor cores now shipped exceeds 30 billion or more than four ARM microprocessors for every person on Earth. In the late 1990s, Dr. Ferber shifted his interest from one branch of computer science to another. Few researchers are to make such a shift and indeed, few are able to contribute major ideas to two fields. He himself admitted that he found it challenging to get into a new field. Still, he became interested in applying asynchronous logic to implement neural networks, computer networks, that are directly based on a model of the brain. His contributions made it possible not only for researchers to create large neural nets and use them to recognize patterns, but also for commercial developers to use such systems. I, I, I joined Acorn when the BBC Micro was, was in mid-development. And um, the BBC Micro was supported by a number of sophisticated peripherals. Um, I designed a 6502 second processor which had more memory and went at twice the speed. But the ARM work started quite early. The commitment to begin the development of the processor was in late 83, um, just a couple of years after I joined. And the rest of my time at Acorn uh, was very much focused on the ARM processor. Um, of course, about a, about a month or two after I left, Apple came knocking at the door, and we all know what happened thereafter. The major driving force of, 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 of the microchip industry is, as we all know, Moore's Law. And Moore's Law has delivered this exponential growth in the number of transistors. And I think one of the major achievements of, of, of the design industry has actually just been keeping up with the technology and, and um, finding ever more um, interesting uses uh, for the transistor resource that's now available. Today's microchip is such a vast resource that, that we've only sort of really scratched the surface of mining what the, the capability of that technology is. So I think the, the, the most important lesson I, I, I try to impart to students is, is, that, is that the world of technology is still wide open, that um, there are still opportunities, that, that, that you know, not everything that needs doing has been done by any means. I think the, what we need to do in the next stage, and this, this partly underpins my interest in, in, in putting some effort into trying to understand natural intelligence, is we do really now need to understand how to give our machines some kind of intelligence so that they don't just behave in an extremely fast but completely stupid way to every input they're given. Through his research and numerous publications on the ARM processor, Stephen Ferber has fundamentally transformed computing and enabled today's mobile computing revolution. He is a highly deserving recipient of the 2013 Computer Pioneer Award.